What's up guys? It's Team Emperor. My name's Alex. We've got some deck profiles for you today. So let's get started. Today's clan is uh, Bermuda Triangle. Let's go. First up, our starter is Prism Smile Coral. Her skill is when, she, when you return one of your rearguards to your hand, you can bounce her to your hand as well. Simple, effective, it's great. Uh, on to grade threes. Oh yeah, we only run one copy. Uh, next is four copies of Prism Promise Labrador. Um, her skill is Limit Break 4. When she attacks, you can call up to three Prism cards from your hand to the, to the rear guard. If you call three, uh, she gains 10k and a crit. Also, you can canvas one card with Prism in its name to bounce one of your Prism rear guards. It's that's, decent. That's your ace, right? Yep, this is my okay. ace. Four uh, copies. Yep. And Lord, which doesn't <laughs> do anything anymore. Next, we have four copies of Prism Image Vert. Also, live and break four. When you when a Bermuda Triangle rides over her, that unit gains 10,000. Uh, you return two of your rearguards to your hand and draw a card. It's great. Helps set up for Labrador if you don't get to ride her first. And it's really helps out a lot in the deck. Also, if you have four or more rearguards, she gains 2,000 power. So she can attack for 13 by herself. Next, uh, moving on to grade twos. We have four copies of Prism Promise Princess Celtic. Her skill is on the Vanguard or Rearguard. Uh, when her attack hits a Vanguard, you can count blast one card with Prism in his name to return one of your Rearguards to your hand. If you return a card, you get to draw. Great for early game. Great for... Great bas for... <laughs> basically, any time your opponent has open damage, she will pro pro most likely always get guarded, or you get, like, two cards in your hand. It's great. Amazing card. Yep. Next, we have three copies of Princess Ro uh, Prism Romance Lumiere. 12k attacker for Prisms. So, if, if a Prism Vanguard, she gains two, two, 3,000 when she attacks. Only run three copies. Can come in clutch sometimes. Next, we got three copies of Admired Sparkle Speaker. Now, you may be saying, but the special counterblast, but I counter that with she. she's good enough to be a prism anyway, and she's one of the few non-prism cards in the deck, so it doesn't matter. Her effect is G-Break 1, Rearguard Circle, uh, when she attacks a Vanguard and she's boosted, counterblast 1, return one of your other rearguards to your hand, and then you, you can call... Choose a card from your ha hand, call it to the rearguard circle, that unit gains 3,000. It's great because it gets you an extra attack. Free attack, more pressure. Some which can power up stuff. Just yeah, make crazy. really big columns yeah. just for one counter blast. It's great. I'm saying everything is great because it is. <laughs> Last but not least for the grade twos, the one super clutch copy. Of Prism Promise Celtic. When she is returned to your hand from Rearguard Circle, you can Soul Blast 1, give any of your other units plus 4,000 power till end of turn. This can. When you do get to use this, it makes things hit really big. Like it can make anything that. Like you bounce her with Spica, the ca card you called instantly becomes at least 16k. So that's gonna force another 10k shield. That's amazing. Grade ones, four Prism Duo perfect guards. You don't really need the unflipping ones because you don't really counter blast that much in the deck. And having the Prism the Prism name yeah, helps out a better, lot. Yeah. Makes it a lot more consistent. I almost didn't play her, but then I had games where I would have needed her, so I play her now. Next up is three copies 
Prism Duo Loretta Limit Break Enabler, so that you can crit, so that you can use Labrador's Limit Break while your opponent's still at grade two. Yep, comes in clutch. <laughs> and put them to five before they even reach grade three. Early game. <laughs> Next up, four copies. Prism Promise, Princess Late. Uh, her skill is whenever she's returned to your hand from Rearguard Circle, you, if you have a Prism Vanguard, counter charge one, soul charge one. Choose one of your Rearguards, one of your other Rearguards. That unit gains fourth, uh, and actually it's unit, not Rearguard, my bad. Choose one of your other units, it gains 4,000 until end of turn. And then you can't call her normally for the rest of the turn. You can still call her with effects, like from Labrador or Spica. If I can. Wow, I'm bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so the not being able to be called normally doesn't matter, unless you don't have either of those cards. Then it's bad. Well. It's a bad situation. The card itself is always good. <laughs> Next up, one of the MVPs of the Grade 1 lineup. Three copies of Prism Duo Yarmuk. Uh, from the, while she's on Rearguard Circle, every, every time you bounce one of your Rearguards to your hand, she gains 3,000. From the get-go, she's automatically going to be... A freaking 9k as soon as you get your strides and exactly. combos off. So. She gets big pretty much pretty much every turn. As long as you can bounce at least one card, she's a good booster. It doesn't matter. You bounce multiple cards, she's an amazing booster. Easy 21k columns. Next up, we got the triggers. Got your standard four heal. They're all prism. Pull over here. Got four, four crit, also prism, because just having lots of prism, the de prisms in the deck helps it be consistent. We got uh, one copy of Duo Love Joker Chalum. I've probably gotten this effect off once in the deck. Her skill is. When, while she's on Rearguard Circle, when one of your other Rearguards is bounced to your hand, if you have a duo Vanguard, you can Cam Blast 1, put this unit on the top of, top of your deck, search your deck for a copy of the card that you bounced, and then shuffle. So it's... So like, say you... You go into one of my strides, which has duo in its name, and you bounce a perfect guard during your turn. You can... Use this to get another perfect guard. Mm -hmm. It's good. I would have run more, but I don't feel like it. Don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we got three copies of Drive Quartet Shuplu. Her skill doesn't matter because I don't have any of the other cards that she needs, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Uh, as long as you have... Uh, drive Quartet Bublin on your Rearguard Circle, this unit gets plus 3,000, so it'll be a 7k, but I don't run that, so it doesn't matter. Like I said, she's just a crit. Next up, four draws. A lot of people are like, why draws? Gross. But since this is a combo deck, the draws help. That and I like having big hand, while the opponent has not, like little hand. And I'm, I just get really lucky with draw triggers, so I like them. Yeah, they always come out for you, so. <laughs> <laughs> and now, better. the meat and potatoes of the deck. The, the big heavy hitters, the strides. First off, we've got four copies of Prism Promise, Princess Labrador. First skill is act once per turn. Flip up a copy of her. A copy of her. Choose up two of your rear guards. They gain 5,000 power. They also gain a skill that after they attack or boost, they go back into your hand. And they don't have to. So if you're going up against Diablo, you don't have to bounce the cards. So you don't die. <laughs> By choice. It's really good because you can make 
really easy columns with bad cards, and they still hit for decent numbers. And then you get them back to your hand. She's good in pretty much every situation. And any. <laughs> pretty much. Any situation. She just hits like a truck, no matter what you field. Next up, we have two copies. Legendary Prism Duo Nectaria. Her skill is uh, when she when her, her attack hits a vanguard, you can bounce one of your rear guards. And then if you have a prism heart, you can choose a card from you choose a card from your hand, call it to rear guard circle, that unit gains five thousand. If you have a duo heart, you search your deck for a copy of the card you bounced. Well, I don't have any duo grade threes, so I won't have the duo heart restriction, so she's just in there for the extra attack. And it's really nice when it when she actually does hit. Cause I usually because it usually hits for I can usually get it to hit for like six over sixteen. Cause it because it's like a I usually bounce a twelve K booster, uh attacker. Which is good. Next up I have one copy of Le Legend of the Glass Shoe or Morris. Her skills once she's placed on Vanguard Circle, you return you can return up to two of your vanguards. I don't use her that much. She usually gets lost to the to to G assist. But I ha but when I do use her, she's either kind of meh or she helps out a little bit. Still not being that much that good. She's she'd be better in duos, to be honest. But Heh, she's a Bermuda Triangle Stride. We don't have much of an option right now, so I run one. Next up, one Blizza. Because once, once you've gone through a couple, once after you've gone through both your Labradors and at least and like one of those, one, yeah. one of these, you can still hit, still make your Vanguard hit like a truck for a Cannon Blast. It's, especially. And once the 16G zone comes out in English, he's going to be hitting even harder. So, might as well put him in now. <laughs> yep. That's it. Uh, probably go on to some uh, combos now. I'll show you one of my favorite ones. Because it's funny. Okay. Got I got to remember to do the field backwards so that you guys can see it. Starter, uh, Yarmuk, NE7K, Spica, that, uh, let's see, let's see, you ride that, then you ride that, you have one of these in hand, sitting on Labrador. All right, so say say you strided, then you have like these cards in your hand. You have these four cards in your hand. These are only two cards on your field. So, you, well, actually, this would be in there too because you probably bounced them. But say you've already strided, so you have so because G, GB one active. You can be like, oh, I'm just gonna call that uh, actually. Oh. Call that down behind the vanguard. You attack and limit break. Call out this, this, and this. So it's like 26 with a crit. Hitting for stride numbers, still good. Doesn't matter that you're in grade three. Then like then you can attack a rear guard with with regular Celtic. And then attack your van attack the opponent's vanguard with Spica. Use her skill, bounce the Celtic to call out the 12k attacker. Give her plus 3k, which will which will cause Koro to bounce. And then you can also use her skill, the Soul Blast. Give her give this card another 4k. So it's like so she's 19 by herself, basically. That also give. Yarmuk plus six, so this is hitting for twenty-one, and then 
This is hitting for like 20... Uh, yeah, this is hitting for like 26. It's gonna force a lot of shield. Yeah, so like you, you can like take out an inter intercept with the, when you first attack with Celtic, and then smash their face in with two more attacks. Yep. It's great. If it wasn't obvious before, this is pretty a pretty rush deck. Agro, agro, agro. It's just they honestly they just wanna punch your opponent in the face as and, hard and yep. as fast as possible. And it has a sap. Yep. It doesn't even matter if you go first, because you're just going to limit break them. Or you're going to try to. You're going to hope to have this. Well, anyway, that's... All right, man. That's, like, one of the better combos you can get without striding. When you are striding, it it's easier to get combos, just because it does... You just bounce two things for free, and Yarmuk gets gross for no reason, because you getting plus nine and oh yeah don't forget to tell them that you're about this deck you're running it for oh yeah i am running right? this at the spring fest butcher road team league yeah team member feel yeah. the power of the pretty dress because <laughs> it's gonna wreck your face mermaid squad <laughs> peace out guys <laughs>